Happy 30th birthday to pop singer and actress Jojo. Xavier back again with another video. I'm a little frustrated about what happened between the Texans and the Colts today, but I'm not going to rant about that until tomorrow. But today is a very special day because look, see the shirt that I'm wearing? Today is a very special day. I got another shirt right here. Because this album right here. December 20th, 2005, the Notorious B.I.G.'s second and final posthumous album, Duets, the Final Chapter, was released. It was released in the UK on December 19th, 2005. Then it was released here in the US a day later. It was released by Puff Daddy and Bad Boy Records and Atlantic Records. The album debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 and number three on the top R&B slash hip hop albums chart, selling 438,000 copies, beaten by the extremely high sales of Jamie Foxx's second album, Unpredictable, and Mary J. Blige's The Breakthrough. In the UK, it climbed as high as 13 after the release of the album's first single, Nasty Girl. It was certified platinum and is said to be Biggie's last album of mainly new material. The two singles are Nasty Girl and Spit Your Game. Of course, we have a lot of producers such as Puff Daddy, Eminem, Havoc for Mob Deep, Jazzy Faye, just Blaze, Mario Wyans, The Late Static Major, Swiss Beats, Scott Storch, and many more producers. We have a lot of guest appearances on this album, whether Biggie knew these people or not. Of course, Puff Daddy, Nelly, Jagged Edge, Avery Storm, Eminem, Obi Trice, Twista, My Birthday Twin, Crazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony, The Commission, Jay-Z, Korn, the, the late Bob Marley, Clips, Scarface, Akon, BG of Boys in the Hood, T.I., Missy Elliott, Ludacris, Snoop Dogg, Faith Evans, The Game, Sherry Dennis, Bobby Valentino, The Infamous Mob Deep, Tupac, Mary J. Blige, Nas, Big Pun, Fat Joe, Freeway, Slim Thug, Lil Wayne, Jim Jones, Joel Santana, R. Kelly, and Uncle Charlie Wilson. Hopefully I didn't forget anybody. I believe that's all the guest appearances I just said. So looking back 15 years later on Biggie's Duets, the final chapter album, it's an okay album, but you know Method Man was a huge critic of this album. And I definitely agree with what he said in his 2006 concert. That if Biggie was still alive, the artists that are on his album, he would have never fucked with if he was still here. And I definitely agree with what Method Man said. Method Man also pointed out the fact that he was one of those MCs that did songs with Tupac and Biggie when they were still alive, which is also true. He outrapped Tupac in the song Got My Mind Made Up. And he outrapped Biggie in Biggie's song The What. And Meth was also the only guest appearance on Biggie's Ready to Die album. I mean, look at this. You got Lil Wayne, Jim Jones, Joel Santana, one of my fellow Houston rappers, Slim Thug, some of the artists that are on this Biggie, the duets, the final chapter album. I can't picture Biggie collaborating with any of those guys. They probably got these niggas on the album because just like us, they idolize Big and they also grew up on his music. I know Slim, I'm not calling Slim Thug trash because he's from my hometown. But regardless, if you are trash, then you shouldn't be on an album made for a legend like Biggie. Why the fuck they got Lil Wayne on here? What the fuck does he know about Biggie? Lil Wayne sucks. To this day, he still sucks. Fuck Lil Wayne.
I was never a Lil Wayne fan. I never liked Lil Wayne like that. Tired of this nigga Lil Wayne. Been tired of him for years. And also, Tupac's verse in the song Living in Pain, Feet with Mary J. Blige and Nas, is an old verse from one of Tupac's old songs. Biggie and Tupac's vocals was between 1992 and 1997. And it's surprising that Big Pun is on his album too And he's another artist that is deceased We have three deceased artists that are on this album Big Pun, Tupac, and Prodigy from the infamous Mob Deep But Prodigy was still alive when he, was guest, when he and Havoc made a guest appearance on his album Of course the song Beef featuring Havoc and Prodigy, Mob Deep Was of course produced by Havoc who still doesn't get the credit he deserves for making good beats. I prefer Born Again over Duet's The Final Chapter. And this isn't the first time that R. Kelly has done a song with Biggie. Despite that I fucking hate R. Kelly for what he has done for the past two decades, fucking around with teenage girls. Don't get me wrong, R. Kelly is a legend. He's definitely a great singer, but... His personal life is just fucked up. And look where he's at now. He's still in jail while he's waiting for his next trial. But yeah, like I said, this ain't the first time R. Kelly done a song with Biggie because they done songs together on each other's albums. Biggie is featured on R. Kelly's second album, his second self-titled album. And of course, Biggie, R. Kelly is featured on Biggie's Life After Death album on the song F You Tonight. But no doubt about it. Hold on. Look at this. Let me get all this together. See? I got all the Biggie's albums. All of them. I got all the Biggie's albums. Only one was released when he was still here. But all the rest of them were released after his death. Even though he already completed life after death before he got killed. I got all of Biggie's albums. Ready to Die. Life After Death. Born Again. And Duets The Final Chapter. I got all of Biggie's albums. Including that collaboration album with his ex-wife Faith Evans. The King and I which I also have in my collection. And I have the soundtrack of the Notorious movie. I was in my freshman year in high school when this album came out. I've seen the clean version of Walmart and sadly I didn't get it for Christmas. Instead, I got the Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack for Christmas in 05. But I got this 15 years later, way before Christmas. But we definitely miss you, Biggie. We definitely miss you. You and Tupac will forever be my favorite rappers. That wraps up my quick rant celebrating 15 years of the Notorious B.I.G.'s posthumous album duets the final chapter. Even though I prefer Born Again over this. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next anniversary rant. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave your comment down below. I'll be back around 7 or 7.30. Reminiscing 19 years of The Rock vs. Test and Booker T vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin in a first blood match from the December 20th, 2001 edition of SmackDown. Happy 15th to the Notorious B.I.G.'s posthumous album Duets, the final chapter.